Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to understand that how we can create a beautiful 3D maps in MS Excel application. So here I have the data that is the sample data which is having year, country, population and again year, country and the product sales of Royal Enfield, Thunderbird and then Bell Telephone. So this is my data. So as of now, I'll be showing you on one data label as well as the multiple data label. First, we try to understand how we can apply a 3D map on a single column. So here I'm going to select the data, control shift down arrow. Now my complete data has been selected. I'm going to convert this data into a table just by pressing control plus T. Yeah, now I'm just going to confirm my table has been ready so when your data has been selected to convert this data into a 3d map just you need to go to insert and click on 3d map and the 3d map will be inserted automatically and here you can see that right now and this is the known as layer pan i'm just going to close this and this is the tour pane i'm just going to close this now you are just observing only the map right and where there is no any data or labels has not been shown currently and you can see here in my data i have the five countries first i'm going to show you the how the data has been available here in 1950 what is the population of India, USA, United, UA, UAE and Sri Lanka and then China and here what is the population in 1955, 1960 and here I go to the map. So here to enable a map can see here the countries are automatically detected and they are going to show you a small dot on the same. Yeah, so now it is perfect. So what I can do to apply the data labels on this map just we need to first activate the first i'm going to activate the tour editor and then i will be activating the layer pan so that i can access the field list so as of now only countries are automatically applied you also can remove the country itself i'll go to field list first i'm just see what the what it is saying drag fields to the layer pan just i'm dragging country to location so when you insert a location actually it, it should show the 100% if it is showing less than 100% which means the system is not accurately showing the countries if you if you have any errors you need to correct by clicking on the percentage first i can see here usa now i have in my data i have the country or region name as usa and system understand the spelling of usa as united states and here you can see here UAE has been taken as United Arab Emirates. Now it's fine. But if your name, if your name is not matching as per your expectation here, you need to just click on the same and you need to choose the right country and you need to update the you know in your data you need to first update the country names first. And after updating the country's name, you come back to map and then again click on the refresh data. So after refreshing data again you need to click on 60% so that that will be eliminated as of now I am not updating data because now USA stands for United States that is correct and UAE that is stands for United Arab Emirates that is also fine so I am not I am not going to update anything yet because it is showing correctly I will just click you know if you observe if it is wrong then you need to go back to Excel update the data and again refresh the data so that that errors will be eliminated as of now that is perfect and next I am dragging the population to height so a height bars will be showing on the screen now you can observe the height bars right now we are observing it and then so as of now it is just going to show only the sum of the total population by default whenever you insert the country and the population it is going to take the population total sum in all the years but here I'm just going to take the year and dragging up into the time. So when I just keep it on on the time and by default it is going to show me the time layer and at the same time the play button has been also inserted. I'm just adjusting the layer as it required. Yeah. I'll just keep it somewhere. 
yeah so when i insert the time automatically the time has been coming the timer animation is coming the moment whenever you just click on the same as the time being changed your data will be updated according to the time lapse so now this is how it works but here in this time i don't want all this 12 am and the full date i just need only the yes what i can do you can simply double click on this time lapse animator and where you can choose the time format here i'm going to choose a format you also can choose month and year you also can see if you are going to you know if, if your time lapse is 24 hours you can use hertz and minutes so as of now i wanted to show based on the year so that i'm selecting here only year now the moment you can see here current to previous showing like this 1 slash 1 slash 2022 12 am i'm just going to click on 2010 so now it is reduced to just 2022 and you also can change this color again i i choose the red one in the background i'll be choosing an yellow color and then accept now i have reduced it i can reduce it to very small yeah now we try to play now only the ears will be played on the screen according to the ears are being changed your data will be updated automatically now it is being played for 10 seconds you also can increase the time for more than 10 and as well you also can you know you also can give it now it is showing as scene one you also give a scene name so now i'll just close this i also remove the scene yeah so here if you observe there is a data which is going to show you layer, layer by layer so as of now in as of now i'm just working only on the only one the one label series that is only the population when i have total population male population female population in that cases i should use the multiple column as of now there is only one data selected i can go with this and instead of that you also can click on the you know the bubbles you also can click on the, the heat map as well and this is actually known as the heat map right and this is the heat and this is the bubble and the, this is a multiple column but when there is no multiple column it will be showing only one column and you will not observe any difference between these two i am also going to show you a second example where you can apply this or this and you can make the decision yeah i'll just go back again and i will be showing another thing i'll just close this map as of now i'm not going to save this i'll be using this data the second data that i'm using and then select the data Control shift down arrow after selecting all the data you can just press Control plus t to convert that data into a table and then click on ok now the table has been arranged and this will be table number two and then as the table number two selected i'll go to again insert and 3d maps and it is asking me to go with the tour number one i don't want the store one right now i'll go for two new two yeah again a 3d map newly will be introduced and here you can see table one and again table two is also available so as of now i wanted to show the uh, you know first i'm just as a country already selected and i'll take the Royal Enfield into the height, Fort Thunder also the height, and Bell Telephone also height, and Ear into the time. Yeah, and I close this field layer. As of now, you can see here there is only one bar being shown. There is only one bar being shown that the blue color which indicates the Royal Enfield and the Bell Telephone which indicates the color and also the Fort Thunder part. So as of now it is very pretty difficult to understand right as it is in a single layer it is going to show the three things so if you want you know, so when you have multiple data to display make sure to enable the multiple columns now i can see there will be totally a uh, three columns i can observe on the screen i'm also going to show you for some other data as well so this is how we should understand the data when you have to analyze more than one particular data make sure to use these things and then i'll just go down in this year again double click on the year and go to the you know the 2010 and then accept i have not given any background this time now this in this video we will so now here we will focus on the creating scenes in this now we'll focus on creating the, you know uh, scenes yeah so I'll just make it zoom out and here you can see there are some options where you can I'll just make it I'll make it very small to the, so that you guys can easily understand the same yeah 
I'll keep it very bottom. Now you can see here there are there are no labels are displayed and you can enable the map labels and you can enable flat map sites and you can disable the map and you also can disable flat map and you can find out your exact location that for what you are looking if you type the name that will be displayed automatically. Let's now here I'm going to type here United States. So when I type United States, that will be taking me directly to United States. So this, this function will help you to find out your respective region. And this is for custom regions. As of now, I'm not going to do that. And uh, here first, I'm going to remove this layer options. Now I'll focus on the scenes. Yeah. So I'm just making it zoom out. First, I wanted to focus on the India. So here I go for India. Yeah. So I, I'll also activate I also activate the map label so that the people can easily understand it and here I am going to play it. From 1954 you can see the bars are being increased very slowly. That how it is working there as you know as, as it is as it is increasing very slow and slow and slow and again it is just going like that that's fine and here i can make it see now here i'm just going it for scene so i can click on the settings i'll be focusing on india this time so i'll change the name to as india and i wanted to play this for pretty speed so i'll go for less than i'll go for a nearly seven seconds and if you want uh, any effect like circle effect or even any dolly you know you can choose any of your you know i'll go for circle and then i'll go there the effect has been changed and you also can change your map types from themes by going to theme you also can enable the aerial view as well this is the aerial color so that how simple it looks like but i'll just go for the basic theme that which we regularly use and there is a lot of themes are available you can try your best one right so as of now i'll go to the main one as usual yeah i'll close this so in this video we were focusing on the india and again i'll just go to make a new scene so scene number two i'll just go to new scene copy the one so in this scene i'm going to focus on the china yeah I'll be focusing on China, but for this China, I'm activating the flat map. Yeah. So for this China, we were activating flat map. And again, I'll go to new scene, copy the India. I'll go to India again. This time in this scene number three, I will be focusing on the United States. For this United States, in this scene number three, I'm going to make it again. I'm going to remove the flat map. Yeah. And here I can change the names as well. And second scene is for China. I'll be changing the name as China and then close this. And again, double click on the settings. And I'll be changing the name as US and then close this. Now, if you play it complete, I'm clicking on play a tour. So now first it is going to play on India. You can see as the years are going on, you know, the labels of the respective things will be increased next we were next we will be focusing on china now it is going to playing for china itself how beautiful it is and then after that again we will be focusing on united states yeah so this is how it works in excel not only these that you also can export this into a video by clicking on create video you can choose hd format or the normal low format for the mobile purposes i will be choosing the presentation hd format then i'll be clicking on create and i'll go to desktop i'll be i'll be saving this as a 3d maps and save so now the video will be exported so this is how we work with the maps in ms excel application thank you I click on open. Now, this is how it is being developed.